my name is Claudio. I'm um, currently the, the executive chef at uh, Sushi Samba. I was born in, in South Africa, moved to Portugal quite young, around seven. At the age of uh, 15, I had to go through a lot of um, exams. At that point in, in Portugal, the school that I attended was quite uh, difficult to get, and that's where, where it started. So I went through the best internships and best hotels and some of the best chefs, and I managed to, after the internship, continue working for them. There was a chef, an Italian chef, Frank Luis. He was my main influence. I remember the first uh, month I was only doing the family meal. I remember coming earlier, preparing everything for, for this lady that I was working with. She was quite happy with that. I was called by the executive chef, Frank Luis, and, and I started doing more things with him. It was really uh, successful, the places that I was going, and people were really uh, believing that I could have a, a future there. I went through um, a master degree in food uh, production restaurant operation, which it goes from microbiology to toxicology to uh, food nutrition in every state that you can imagine for the hill, for the elderly, for sports. And at that point I was studying and working at the same time, so I really could apply what I was learning in such a way. I started working for this uh, chef in Portugal, which is Luis Bayana. That really opened my, um, my vision to food and his message was food is limitless. You know, you can do whatever you want with food. It's, it's, there's no rule. The rule is whatever you want, you know. Sushi Samba is, is a type of culinary that is not new. The blend of uh, the three uh, different cultures, the fresh ingredients, the music, the, the rhythm, uh, the vibe, that's, that's pretty much Sushi Samba. That's all the ingredients together that make the food, I think, special. It's the vibe from when you get into the door uh, until you sit down through the meal and when you leave. I think it's all those aspects uh, together. Sushi Samba is, is a really busy restaurant. We do many, many covers. Uh, it really depends on the time of the year. I think the first quarter we are quite quieter, but we still manage to do around 550 covers. The summer will come on the, uh, at midway through the year, so it will uh, pretty much it will increase a little bit our capacity and obviously the rhythm of things and we, it will speed up a little bit more and we manage to do more covers as well. My team all together with the sushi bar, with the production kitchen, pastry and obviously the line cold section, uh, around 75, 80, it really also depends on the peaks of the year. We always go for younger chefs with passion, with will to obviously work and it's not only about being uh, sometimes uh, a chef, it's always about the individual itself and their characteristics and the way they are, even on the interview and what they perceive. And that's really what we, we look for. It's the individual, young, that we can mold to our, to our style. There's a lot of expectations. We try, but it's not easy to satisfy 3,000 uh, uh, people a week. It is difficult and that's what keeps us going and that's what keeps this work interesting because we really want to keep people, uh, people's expectations really, really uh, up to the demand. And the future, I think what it holds for me and with Sushi Samba, at least will be a lot of uh, new openings. So we will be opening in really new, uh, really nice locations. On my personal side, I, I, I really have projects of my own that I'm already working on and rolling. And so I think that in 10 years time, I look at having something smaller and more personalized. That's really what my goal is.